Today I will be covering protein synthesis for the Edexcel Biology B A level. Phase 1 of this process is transcription. Transcription occurs in the nucleus of eukaryotic cells. It is slightly different for other cells, so we're going to focus on eukaryotic cells today. In this process, DNA is transcribed or copied to form messenger RNA. This molecule has some key features, such as that it is a single stranded molecule instead of double stranded like DNA. It contains the pentose sugar ribose instead of deoxyribose and the bases A, C, G and U instead of A, C, G and T. In step one, as you can see in the diagram, the enzyme helicase unzips the DNA helix by breaking the hydrogen bonds between the bases of the two strands. This produces the sense and antisense strands, where the antisense strand is going to be transcribed. It is also referred to as a template strand. In step two, RNA polymerase attaches to the promoter region of the template strand at the beginning there. It begins attaching free complementary RNA nucleotides like the ones mentioned in the previous slide, and they're held together by phosphodiester bonds formed in a condensation reaction. This continues till the terminator sequence, as you can see at the end there. These diagrams are not to scale and they're not realistic, but they're a good way of you seeing what happens in the process. So in the summary diagram here, you can see how a DNA molecule is turned into an mRNA strand. On the antisense strand, the triplet code TAC is converted to AUG, which will code for a specific amino acid. You don't need to know exactly which one, but it's good to know it to see a named example. However, before mRNA can go on to be translated, it has to be processed. This is because transcription produces pre-mRNA which contains introns, which are non-coding regions, and exons, which are coding regions. We only want exons, so our molecule can be as efficient as possible and waste as little resources as possible. So spliceosomes come along and remove the introns by producing and produce mature mRNA. Spliceosomes contain RNA-specific restriction endonucleases, which cut the introns out, and then RNA-specific ligase binds the molecule together to produce a mature mRNA which only contains exons. This molecule is then released through a nuclear pore and goes on to phase two. Phase two is translation. Translation is a process that occurs in the ribosomes of eukaryotic cells found in the cytoplasm. mRNA is translated or read into proteins and specifically pri the primary structure of proteins. This process involves transfer RNA, another molecule. Transfer RNA is a clover-shaped molecule which with a complementary anticodon, which will bond to the codon of mRNA, and it carries an amino acid to the ribosomes. As you can see here, the start codon of mRNA enters between the subunits of a ribosome, and a tRNA molecule comes along and temporarily bonds to the, co to the codon with its complementary anticodon with hydrogen bonding. The molecule moves along and the second tRNA molecule enters with hydrogen bonding again and the amino acids of the two tRNA molecules form a peptide bond. A third tRNA molecule enters pushing the first mRNA codon out and the first tRNA molecule breaks its hydrogen bonding and leaves. However, because the first amino acid is bonded to the second, the amino acid stays, only hydrogen bonding breaks, not peptide bonds. The second and third amino acid bond, and this process continues until the stop codon is reached. Once it is reached, translation stops, and a polypeptide chain is formed, or a sequence of amino acids. The summary diagram here of translation, you can see that the codon AUG codes for one amino acid, AUC codes for another, and so on until the end of the polypeptide chain. If we combine the two summary uh, diagrams together, you can see how a DNA molecule is turned into an mRNA strand, which is then translated into a polypeptide chain. That's all for today. Good luck and thank you for watching.